Okay, it is December, Christmas is coming up, and I wanted to make some wooden reindeer with a sleigh for the yard. Uh, I am just going to do a quick video on how I did this. I'm going to hit the like the high points. I'm not going to go into a real in-depth, long 45-minute video. I'm just going to show you how I did this, and uh, you can do it too. So I want to make two reindeer, wooden reindeer, with a sleigh. So I picked up two pieces of plywood, 4x8 sheet of plywood, and this 4x8 sheet of plywood. Um, I got the high-grade plywood, uh, which both sides are smooth. Uh, you can buy cheaper stuff where one side's smooth and the other side's a little knotty. Uh, whatever you choose. It is three-quarter inch, uh, just to make it that much sturdier. Um, now, as far as the pattern goes... You can make two reindeer out of one piece and you'll be able to make a sleigh out of the other piece. There's a couple ways you can go about getting these patterns. Um, you can go to your local craft store, you could go to Amazon uh, and buy the templates to trace these out. Or you can do what I did is I went online and they have them online for free. So, where I went to is the family handyman. Um, he had a real nice website and real nice downloadable templates that I could make, uh, which is super simple. So all you have to do is if you go to the Family Handyman, you can download the templates. And what's going to happen is it's going to print out 21 sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper. Okay, and I have a little example over here. One I've already cut out. This is going to be the the deer obviously and this one i haven't really cut out yet so what you're gonna have to do is this is gonna print out like i say 21 sheets of paper so you're gonna have to sit on your floor just put it together like a puzzle and the obviously the main body parts and everything you want is going to print out blue or you can change the color you can put or print out whatever color you want i did blue because it saved a little ink so after you put those 21 sheets of paper together, you're going to want to tape them all together, okay? And then you're going to take, obviously, the white part of the paper, which is here, and you're going to have to cut either with a razor blade or I use scissors. I just sat down on the floor and just cut it with scissors, cut all the way around, cut everything, and until I got all these, um, all these cut out. So I've already done a couple of these, and... I will show you. I already have some printed out here. I got to do some legs. I've already done the antlers and one leg. So, let's see here. All right, so here was, here was the antler. I cut it out. All right, cut that out. Just trace it on your plywood. Do it to where you can use as much plywood as possible. Keep them close as possible. And we're going to take a jigsaw, which I'll show you in a minute. And we're going to cut these out. Now, like I say, I've already done the antlers. I've done two of those. And here's one of them. Actually, I've done four of them. All right. So here's one of the antlers cut out. Okay. That's the template. Traced it. And just cut it out with the jigsaw. I mean, it was really, really simple. It's pretty solid, three quarter inch piece of plywood. So I've got I've got those four here. I cut out a leg already, and I've got th actually seven more legs to go. And then I've got uh, a couple of these body pieces already where this is all going to go together. And I've done two of these pieces. Anyways, I'm going to get the jigsaw set up. I'm going to show you a couple little fast tips using the jigsaw. And I'm going to cut one of these out in real time. Uh, so you can see how easy it is. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll be right back with the jigsaw. Okay, so I have my jigsaw out. Um, you can use any jigsaw you want. I like DeWalt tools. I've had a lot of luck with them over the years. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't make any money from them. Buy whatever you want. Does not matter to me. This is just a more 
quality tool I found over the years and they've lasted me a long time. So I'm not gonna go into an in-depth video on how to use a jigsaw, but I will give you a couple quick tips on um, some things that'll make it easier for you. Uh, first of all, on the side right here, uh, most jigsaws, newer jigsaws have these settings on the side. Uh, if you can see this, uh, this setting down here at the bottom will make the blade just go straight up and down. And the more as you go one, two, three, four, the blade will actually come down and kick out to the side and come back up and in a, like a sawing motion like that. Okay, so it'll kick back and it helps clear the shavings out of the wood a lot faster. Uh, I'm not going to go as aggressive today. You see how, how aggressive that is. I'm just going to go to one, keep it there. Um, that's going to be enough for me. Now, as far as the blades go, um, the old jigsaws had an old blade style. This is a T. This is a T bit. And these are very accurate when they go. See, you got the shank down here. It's like a T. Now, those are the most accurate bits of uh, blades you're going to find on a jigsaw today. Um, they used to make them like this. You've probably seen them, the old style, where they got the little horseshoe right there. These tend to not stick or, or sit right. They tend to flop around a little bit and not track very straight. So, um, the T-style is the way to go if you have one of those. It's going to be a lot more accurate. Uh, also, for this project, they make a couple different kinds of blades. Um, this is a fast cut blade from plywood. It's very, the teeth are very, very rough. Um, this is also, they make two different kinds. They make an upcut. See these teeth are going up. So what you're gonna have is when you use an upcut blade, when it comes through the plywood, you're gonna have probably a little tear out on top which is no big deal for this project because it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect on top. If you, they also make a down cut blade to where it cuts on the down stroke. So if you were cutting for micro countertop or something, you use a blade for that. So it wouldn't chip out when it was coming up. It would chip out at the underneath where you wouldn't see it. Um, so I'm gonna use the upcut blade today because the other benefit to that is when it's coming up, the, the teeth grab the wood and actually pull the uh, jigsaw down. It pulls what this is the bottom of this jigsaw is called the shoe. So it actually pulls that shoe down tight to the plywood. And um, so it gives you like less bounce. If you have a down cut blade, sometimes you get a little bounce and it'll bounce back on you and it's just a pain in the butt. So uh, I'm going to use an upcut blade, fast cutting blade on this setting. You don't have to use this setting. And you want to make sure the speed control on this one's underneath. Whatever your speed control is, you just want to make sure it's as high as possible. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put this blade back in there. And then we're going to rip into it. This is also a quick disconnect. I mean, a quick uh, bit change here. So I just slide this in. Slide it in there. Lock it down. We're good to go. All right, put that back in there. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna start cutting this. Another quick tip too to be, always make sure you know what you're cutting, make sure you don't cut your saw hoss underneath.
cut out and we'll get them all sanded down. All right, so I have all the pieces cut out now. Here's the gear body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my palm sander. Just gonna take my palm sander at orbital and just knock these edges off and uh, smooth this out a little bit. sanded nice and smooth we got them all laid out here we got the body here we got the two back legs uh the pieces to put the body together to the head piece uh the two front legs and the antlers right here so what i'm going to do um i am going to put these together to where i do not have to take them apart every year uh, i have enough storage space that uh, i have room to put them and I don't need to worry about it. So what I'm going to do with these, uh, and if you don't do it that way, obviously you can just click all these together and it'll stay like that and then just take them all apart once you're done. However, I'm going to make these as weatherproof as possible. I am going to, and as sturdy as possible, so I'm going to use liquid nails because I have a bunch of these uh, in my garage. So I'm going to use them up. I'm going to caulk in all these grooves this one this one i'm going to do that that but that's going to take me a little while but uh I'm let's sit let it dry it's going to be really sturdy and then i'm going to seal up all this all the, the seams put a nice bead of caulk around after i get done and uh make it as weatherproof as possible because if you uh you know if the weather gets in here you know and gets to this wood it's going to just swell up and it's going to rot so we're going to protect it as much as possible so i'm going to go ahead and start putting this together um Show you how it's done. All right, so I'm gonna take my liquid nails. I'm gonna take my piece. I'm gonna put some in here. And squirt it in here, nice. Get on there. This will take a little extra time if you're doing this. I'm gonna take my finger. Mess around in there. Nice, right, so I got that one. And then I'm gonna take body piece, put some on here. Like so. I'm just going to take the leg, take it like this, this piece and this piece, slide them together. Get them in here just right. This one's a little tight, which is good. Slide it in there, and here we go. I'm going to do the same thing to this one, so on and so forth. Probably don't need to watch this whole thing. Like here, all right. So I got that one done, this one done. So I'm going to take this, 
slide it in here. Find the sweet spot. There we go. Now we got the back legs. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the front. And uh, I'll be right back because you don't need to watch all this. So. All right, so fast forward a little bit. I slipped the legs on, slipped the body on. Uh, I've got everything caulked. I caulked everything up the sides on tops where, you know, water would get in there. So now I'm gonna put the head on with the head, the head piece with the antlers. So I'm gonna push that down on there. It's gonna be tight, get nice and tight. take more and I'm going to put it in the grooves here One of the antlers, do the same thing. Smear it in there really nice and good. Then, just press it on. That's that. Then we'll go around that with caulk afterwards. Same thing with this one. They're good. Make sure the antlers are even with each other. I'm going to caulk the rest of these uh, spaces right here, get them all weather tight, and then we're going to paint it.